hey guys yeah welcome back to my channel today thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be cutting and sewing this other neckline dress that you can see on your screen so i used three yards of crepe fabric to make this style without further ado let's jump right into the video i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two so i split my fabric the three yards into two so i have one and a half yard of fabric on my work table right now and I'll be using this to cut out the front and then I'll use the front to cut out the back the first thing I did was to draw my to rule out my guideline okay that is where I'm going to start taking my measurements from the first thing I'll do is to take my neck width so for the neck width I'll be using 3 inches and for the depth I'll be using 3 inches so I'm taking 3 by 3 inches this neckline that I just took is for the front if you want the back of your dress to also be an outer neck you can take the same measurement for um, the back okay so all you have to do is to take your back depth okay so the next thing I'll do now is to go down by half of the round arm or circumference I'm working with okay which is 9 inches so I placed my tape on my guideline and I'm marking 9 inches, okay? So what I'll do now is to rule a straight line across the 9 inches point. The next thing I'll do is to place half of my shoulder measurement, which is 7.5. I added half an inch to that measurement, okay? So I took 8 inches. On that 8 inches mark, I'm going to go down by 1 inch and I'll slant into the neckline area like this. What I'll do now is to place the bust circumference I'm working with divided by 4, okay? Which is almost 10 inches. I'll indicate that. After doing that, I'm going to add my stitching allowance of 1.5 inches, okay? So, guys, this dress does, does not have an arm, okay? So, normally we do connect from our shoulder slope down to the chest line. But this time around, I'm going to connect from the mark that I have on the chest line to meet my neck with okay so i'll be using my ruler you can use your free hand to curve it or you can slant it depending on the shape that you want okay so after connecting this is what i have guys so the next thing you're going to do now is to determine how free you want your dress to be okay and your stitching allowance is also up to you okay so i'll take my dress length first of all um i want my dress length to be about 59 inches so i've already confirmed that like i said my fabric is folded into two so folded into two it is 26 inches that is 26 times two okay that is the wideness of my fabric so i want the base of my dress to be like an a-line dress so as you can see i'm slanting from the base of the um dress all the way to meet this arm or area okay so i'm trying to um connect it so it does not have any sharp edge okay so what i did was to slant from the base of my dress all the way to this arm or area to give me that a line effect okay so after doing that i'm going to go ahead and cut so i'll cut the neckline i'll cut the arm or area and i'll cut through the side all the way to the base of the dress so guys after cutting this is what it looks like so we are going to use this to cut out the back for the back i've gone ahead to fold my remaining one and a half yard of fabric into two just like i did for the front okay so what i'll do now is to bring in the um front and i'm going to place it on fold okay so this dress does not have a zipper but if you want to add a zipper to yours you can go ahead and leave your zipper allowance so i went ahead to use my pin to just hold the front and the back um together so next thing i'll do now is to come down okay this dress that i'm sewing is a backless um dress so like i said if you want your back to also be an outer neck all you have to do is to cut out the neckline that you want for the back and you can just stress all the way around but this particular one is backless so what i'm doing is marking my chest line which was nine inches earlier i'm trying to um 
mark the nine inches on the back fabric okay so i'm going to raise this front fabric up okay and i'm going to just connect okay so what i'll do is to connect into a straight line that is where my back the back of my dress is going to start from you don't have to make yours this deep okay if you don't want yours to be deep or if you don't even want it to be open at all you can just cut it out exactly as it is on the front but you are going to add your zipper allowance to it okay so i want the back to still be deeper so what i'll do is to use my ruler to just connect and i don't want it to be straight okay so i'm just creating like a u shape for the back and this is what i want okay so what i'm going to do now is to cut but i'm not going to cut on that particular line okay because i want to create like a channel for my elastic band to pass through at the back i want the back to have an elastic band so instead of cutting on this chalked line i'm going to go up by about half an inch from there which i'll be using for my elastic band casing after doing that i'll just trace out the sides as you can see me doing i'll cut all the way to the end of the dress okay so that is all for the back guys so the next thing i'm going to do now is to remove my front um fabric okay and i'll go ahead and create the channel for the back okay so this allowance that i left i'm going to fold it once and then i'll fold it over making sure that the casing i'm going to create is wide enough for my elastic band to pass through okay so that's what i'm going to do for the back and for the front you can go ahead and cut out facing for the arm or area or you can just go ahead and aim it depending on what you want okay so just go ahead and sew the arm or area in place so guys i've created my channel for my casing and this is what i have for the back because i can see the back of the fabric is really wide and there's no way it's going to fit so the elastic band is going to put the dress together okay so i've gone ahead to cut out my elastic band which is 15 inches wide but i didn't use up to 15 inches because it was too wide okay so you just pass your elastic band through the casing and then you confirm the tightness if you want it to be tight if you want it to be loose depending on what you have you want okay so i'm passing my elastic band through this casing after passing it through what i'll do is to stitch on both ends of the elastic band to hold it down okay so i'll go ahead and do that after doing that guys this is what i have for the back okay so i've also gone ahead to um sew the armhole area for the front like i said you can aim it or you can cut out a facing for it for me i used a facing okay but i've not ironed it yet because there is no light so once there is light what i'll do is to place my aiming gum underneath the facing and i'll just iron it flat i just used my pin to hold it down okay so i'll not confuse you guys so the next thing i'll do now is to join both front and back piece together so to do that i'm going to place them right sides facing right side and i'll start pinning from the arm or area as you can see so go ahead and pin and then you are going to use your stitching allowance to sew all the way to the end of the dress so i left about 1.5 inches as my stitching allowance that's what i'm going to use to sew from this arm or area all the way to the end of the dress after sewing this side pinning this side i'll pin the other side i'll also go ahead and sew and i'll turn my dress to the right side so guys after joining the front and the back together this is what i have this is what it looks like on the right side the next thing i'm going to do now is to m the base of my dress okay so you can overlock it you can m depending on what you want just go ahead and sew all the way around after doing that guys the next thing i'm going to do is to cut out the um band for the neckline so i went ahead to measure my neckline which is not even important all you have to do is to measure around your neck okay whatever measurement you have there add one inch to it for ease okay so that is what you need to cut out the band for the neckline okay so i've got ahead to cut out this piece of fabric 
which is um, two inches on fold once I open it up it is four inches so the width of my band is going to be two inches so it depends on how wide they want the band to be okay so the length of this fabric is the round neckline I'm working with plus one inch okay you can add one inch to it or 1.5 inches to it okay for ease okay but I added one inch to my band okay so what i did next was to cut out like a loop okay i went out to fold my fabric into two i sewed it and i turned it to the right side okay so what i'll do is to place these two loops on one end of the band so just look at what i'm doing i'm placing the loop like this because i want to add buttons to the back of the neckline so it's easier for me to wear it okay so this loop is what i'm going to use Okay, so I'm going to place the two of them side by side as you can see me doing. I'll pin them down. After doing that, I'll cover it up. I'll cover the band up. I'll go ahead and sew all the way. Okay, leaving the 8 inches that I measured on the neckline, I'm going to, that's the only part I'll not sew on this band, okay? So I've gone ahead to sew the loop in place and I also went ahead to turn the band inside out so i left this opening which is 8.5 inches that is what i have on the neckline so what i'll do now is to place it like this i'm doing this to give me a neat finishing okay so i'll just push it a bit inside the band and i'll go ahead and sew after sewing i'll fix my button to this other end of the band and that is all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one